Are you struggling to connect Amazon QuickSight to your RDS instance? You're not alone. Many users face this challenge, and today we're going to unravel the mystery behind it. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you're ready to create reports, but technical issues get in the way. This is a common hurdle for many users trying to leverage QuickSight with RDS. Here's the situation we're diving into. One user has MySQL RDS instances in the N, California region, and wants to create reports using QuickSight. However, they discovered QuickSight is only available in the Oregon region. After creating a read replica in Oregon, they still faced connection issues. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this connection issue? The error message suggests that the instance might not be accessible from the QuickSight IP address range. This is a common configuration problem that can be resolved with the right steps. Stay with me. By the end of this video, you'll know how to connect QuickSight to your RDS without making your instance publicly accessible. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. To connect Amazon QuickSight to a non-public RDS instance, the user should first ensure that the RDS instance is configured correctly. This involves checking the VPC settings and ensuring that the instance is in a VPC that allows access from QuickSight. Next, the user needs to create a VPC endpoint for QuickSight. This allows QuickSight to communicate with the RDS instance without needing it to be publicly accessible. After creating the VPC endpoint, the user should update the security group associated with the RDS instance. This involves adding an inbound rule that allows traffic from the QuickSight VPC endpoint. Finally, the user can test the connection in QuickSight. They should navigate to the QuickSight console, select New Dataset, and choose the RDS instance to see if the connection is successful. Fun fact, did you know that Amazon QuickSight can scale to accommodate thousands of users? It's a powerful tool, and with the right setup, you can harness its full potential. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves using AWS CloudFormation to connect your RDS instance to QuickSight without making it publicly accessible. They suggest creating a custom NAT instance that allows QuickSight to access your RDS securely. To implement this, you'll need to follow specific steps in the AWS console, including selecting the template, entering required variables, and ensuring the NAT instance has access to your RDS instance through security group settings. Human, let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative solution suggests that you can connect Amazon QuickSight to an RDS database within a VPC. First, create two security groups, one for your RDS instance, and another for QuickSight's Elastic Network Interface. This second security group is crucial as it allows QuickSight to access your database. Make sure to set the inbound rules for the RDS security group to allow traffic from the QuickSight security group on the appropriate port, like TCP port 30 through 6 for MySQL. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to first check if your RDS replica is in a VPC. They recommend creating a security group with the necessary rules attached to it for proper access. Here's a pro tip. Always keep your security groups and VPC settings updated. This simple habit can save you from future connectivity headaches. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to connect QuickSight to your RDS instance without making it publicly accessible. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.